This video tutorial covers operation of the Personal Video Recorder Service, or PVR for short. PVR is a powerful tool that allows you to record programs and pause live TV without the need for a VCR. It is a subscription-based service that requires a special set-top box. Let's get started with the record options. If you wish to record a program that you are currently watching, just press the red circle button on your remote. The info bar will pop up briefly and the red record light will illuminate on your set-top box. The program will continue to record until its scheduled end time or until you press the stop button on the remote. The power of the PVR lies in the ability to schedule future recordings. The easiest way to schedule recordings is through the program guide. Press the guide button on the remote. Using the arrow keys on the remote, navigate to the program you wish to record and press OK. When the options menu appears, press OK on Record Program. A red dot will now appear next to the program in the guide to indicate that it is scheduled to be recorded. There is one more type of recording that you can schedule in the guide and that is a series recording. A series recording allows you to schedule all instances of a particular program title to record without the need to schedule an individual event each time it is on in the future. Series recordings will continue until you cancel them. To set a series recording, navigate to one instance of the program in the guide and press OK on the remote. Using the arrow down key, navigate to Record Series and press OK. A red dot with a plus symbol will now appear next to the program to indicate a series recording. Now every time this program is on in the future, it will automatically be recorded. Now that you have a program recorded, how do you access it? Well that's simple. Press the menu button on the remote and navigate with the arrow keys to PVR and then press OK. This is the PVR menu. Here you can see recorded programs and those scheduled in the future. The recorded programs window shows all programs that are already recorded. To access a recorded program, press the right arrow key on the remote. Using the up or down arrow key, you can navigate the various program titles. You can also choose a sort method by date, title, channel, and whether it has been viewed or not. Let's sort by date. So we'll press the left arrow key, choose date, and press OK. Each time you press OK, it toggles between showing the oldest or newest program first. Once you have a sort method selected, arrow back to the right and select the program. For this demonstration, let's watch the movie Marley and Me. Arrow down to the program and press OK on the remote. An options box will appear. Here we can play the recording, resume play if we've previously watched it and stopped it before it was finished, we can also lock it so that it does not get overwritten, or we can delete it. Let's watch it. Verify that play recording is selected and then press OK on the remote. The recording will begin to play. Now, you have all the controls of a traditional VCR. If you wish to pause the recording, press the pause button on the remote. The recording will freeze. To resume play, press play on the remote. The fast forward button will also advance the program forward. Each time you press the fast forward button, the program will forward faster. The first time you press it, it advances at two times regular speed. The second time, four times, 10 times, 25, and so on. To resume regular speed, just press play. You can also go backwards by plus pressing the rewind button. Just like fast forward, pressing the rewind button multiple times will progressively rewind faster. Again, pressing play resumes regular speed. To stop the program, press the stop button on the remote. This returns you to the PVR menu. Press exit button on the remote to return to live programming. Now, let's watch something that was a series recording. We'll go back to the PVR menu by selecting the PVR option from the menu. You may notice that some of the titles are followed by a number in parentheses. This indicates that it is a series recording and the number of episodes that are recorded. Let's access Clifford, the Big Red Dog. 
arrow over to select Clifford and press OK. This now lists all of the episodes recorded. If you arrow up or down, you will note various episodes and see the program date, time, and description change. To choose a particular episode, press OK on the remote and then choose Play Recording. The recording begins. Pressing the stop button on the remote will end play of the recording. To close the PVR menu, again press exit. Next, let's look at ways to delete existing recordings and edit future recordings. Go back to the PVR menu, navigate to the program you wish to delete, and press OK on the remote. The options box will appear, arrow down to delete recording, and press OK. Arrow over to Yes to confirm and then press OK. The recording is now gone. It is also important to point out that the amount of hard drive space in use, this number which is located on the right hand side of the screen. If the hard drive fills up, it will automatically begin deleting the oldest programs based on date recorded. OK, now let's delete a scheduled recording that has not yet been recorded. Press the left arrow key twice to go back to the main PVR menu then arrow down to To Record. Arrow right to select a program. Let's choose a program that is not a series recording. We'll cover that in a bit. Arrow down to the program and press OK on the remote. From the Options pop-up box, choose Cancel Recording and press OK on the remote. Navigate to Yes and press OK to confirm. To delete a series recording, Press the left arrow key twice to return to the main PVR menu and arrow down to Schedule Priority. Press the right arrow key and then arrow up or down to choose the series recording that you wish to delete and press OK on the remote. From the Options pop-up box, choose Cancel Series Recording. Navigate to Yes and press OK to confirm. Let's take a look at some of the other options for series recording. So, press OK on the remote again. This time, note the Move Up or Move Down buttons. By pressing OK on the remote, this allows you to move the program higher up or down in the priority list. Programs with the highest level of priority will be recorded first if there are too many programs scheduled to be recorded at the same time. The last option to look at on the screen is Edit Series Recording. This pop-up box lets you set parameters for your series recordings. Let's arrow up to the Channels box and press OK. You will see, by pressing the arrow up or down buttons, that you have the option to record this program only on its specific channel, or if you want, you can record it at any time, regardless of what channel it is on, by choosing All. Let's press OK to confirm. You can also set options for Standard versus High Definition only, and All or just New Episodes. It is also important to point out the Limit box. If we arrow down to this and press OK, using the up and down arrows, we can cycle through the various options. You may wish to limit it to 5 or 10 most recent episodes so that your PVR does not fill up all of its capacity. When you are finished making changes, arrow down to OK and press OK on the remote. To exit the PVR menu, press Exit on the remote. The last PVR option to explore is Pause Live TV. This function is convenient because it allows you to pause the program you are watching in case you get interrupted with a phone call or someone is at the door. While watching a full screen program, press the pause button on the remote. The screen will freeze. To resume play where you left off, just press the play button on the remote. You are now watching the program in delayed mode. To fast forward to live TV, press the fast forward button. You also have the option to go backwards if a program, even if you haven't set it to record, as long as you have been tuned in to that channel. For example, if you want to go backwards on this program, just press the rewind button. And then, press play at the point you wish to start watching. To resume live TV, press the stop button on the remote. As you can see, the PVR is a very powerful tool.